Now, in transformer, first of all, by reading the question, we should be able to identify whether it is a design problem or operating engineer problem. Okay. So, what is design problem? What is operating engineer problem? Let us uh, analyze. Okay. For an operating engineer, means like, you know, design engineer will design the machine, will manufacture the machine, will roll out the machine, will test the machine, and that particular machine will be in the hands of operating engineer. So, operating engineer cannot change a number of turns once the machine is designed and operating engineer cannot change area of cross section of the core and operating engineer like you know operating engineer in the sense machine physical machine is already in the hands of operating engineer so we cannot change anything okay now if you think of design engineer okay design engineer can change area of cross section of the core and can change number of turns can change area of cross section of copper so means first of all we have to identify the whether the given problem is design engineer problem or operating engineer problem now for that let me take two problems of design engineer problems uh, such that we will identify clearly now this is old gate question only in this old gate question if you observe the question two transformers of same type using same grade of iron and the conductor material are designed to work at the same flux and current densities means that flux density is same and also current density is also same but the linear dimensions of one or two times of those other in all respects what does it mean means dimensions of core are, li are linear dimensions they are changing in the sense linear dimensions of core should be changed okay linear dimensions of copper should be changed so means that it should be a design problem it should be a design problem for example let me write one equation here whatever we derived previously that is going to be voltage rms equal to root 2 pi f pi max n okay so this is going to be uh, previously we discussed uh, emf per turn in primary equal to emf per turn in secondary equal to root 2 pi f pi max now what is this operating flux is going to be flux density multiplied by area of cross section of the core so root 2 pi f b max ac n such that flux density multiplied by area of cross section of the core is going to be the flux now in the, in the design very simple in the design engineer like you know all our variables but as operating engineer, my equation will be concise. How it will be concise? Number of turns will be constant as operating engineer. Area of cross section of the core cannot be changed. Root 2 pi anyway, universal constant for an operating engineer. But as a design engineer, we have to see what are the variables and what are the constants. Okay. Now in this, same flux and current densities means that flux density is going to be constant. Okay. Root 2 pi is anyway constant and one great logic in machines let me tell you okay if something is not given in the uh, what do you say question we have to consider it as constant i repeat if something is not given in the question for example about frequency did they give any information here no so the moment frequency information is not given in the question we have to consider it as constant so f is also constant okay now about number of times did they give any information no so as they did not give any information about the number of turns let us consider number of turns as constant so i can say voltage is directly proportional to area of cross section of the core now for example if this is the area of cross section of the core okay so if this is the area of cross section of core in the first case okay now means like you know this is going to be my transformer In this transformer core if i cut this and see for example this is going to be the core okay so if i cut this and see this is going to be area of cross section of the core that area of cross section is going to be this now linear dimensions are doubled means that so this is going to be side one now in the next area second area is going to be doubled Lin linear dimension is going to be doubled means that this is going to be 2s1 okay so this is going to be 2s1 this is going to be area of cross section of the core in the second case now means area of cross section of the core in the second case because side is double means that four times area of cross section of the core in the first case so my area of cross section of the core here is increased by four times in the second case means that voltage will be increased by four times okay now what is meant by kva voltage multiplied by current in the second case voltage is increased by uh, four times 
Now let us try to understand about current. How much is the current? Is going to be current density into area of cross section of copper. Okay. Now same flux and current density is. That is the keyword actually. So current density is going to be constant. Now if this is the copper. Copper wire. If each linear dimensions are doubled. Means that this radius should be doubled. Means that the area of cross section of the copper will be increased by 4 times. So this is increased by 4 times. In the second case, means that current should be increased by 4 times. Now what is KVA? KVA is going to be voltage multiplied by current. Now voltage is increased by 4 times. Here. And current is also increased by 4 times. So KVA should be increased by 16 times. Okay. And next thing is similar question. Similar question. It means design question. Let us see in this. Okay, in this question, what is the given data? 400 volts by 200 volt, 50H transformer operated at flux density of 1.2 Tesla. So, keyword is this. Okay, and like you know, when energized from the HV side for this transformer, as the linear dimensions of core, linear dimensions of core are doubled, while the number of turns are half on both of the HV and LV sides, if this transformer is now connected to 800 volts, 50H on this on its HV side, then flux density would be. Now, let me tell you one thing. For example, if this is the area of cross section of copper, just like it. if this is the area of cross section of copper. Okay. So, in this, if I can inject 10 amperes, 10 amperes. So, what does it mean? I can inject maximum 10 amperes only. For example, if I inject 100 amperes, what will happen? This wire is going to burn. Okay, so in this, for example, this much area is required for 10 amperes, means that current density should be constant. Normally, for annealed copper, if you see, roughly 3 amperes will be there per mm square. So, if you want to inject 3 amperes, uh, if you want to inject 3 amperes, 1 mm square area of cross section of copper is required. If you want to inject 30 amperes, area of cross section of the copper should be increased to 10 mm square. Okay, so means current density, how current density is constant because for example, if I want to inject 3 amperes, 3 amperes, I will use 1 mm square area of cross section of the copper. Now in 1 mm square area of cross section of copper, if I inject 5 amperes, what will happen? 5 amperes per mm square, it will be under that condition, it will burn. Okay, at the same time, can you inject 1 ampere per mm square? Because for in this much area, for example, 3 amperes can be injected through this wire. Okay, so if the capability is 3 amperes, if you inject 1 ampere, nobody will call you as an engineer. Why? Because you are, you are uh, designing the capacity of 3 amperes. In the sense, volume of copper, you are using more volume of copper than required. Okay, so if area of cross section of the copper is increased, what does it mean? You are designing the machine for new current, higher value of current. Okay, so if copper allows 3 amperes per mm square, 3 amperes per mm square, normally design will be 3 amperes per mm square only. Okay, similarly here means what does it mean? Current density should be constant always. Our current density is not a term to play with I can say. Now, if you see similarly current density, okay, current density is not a term to play with unnecessarily. Okay, so current density, how like you know in copper is happening, similar way means uh, flux density is also not a term to play with, not a term to play with. So directly I can say 1.2 Tesla will be the answer. 1.2 Tesla will be the answer because flux density is not a term to play with. Okay, but if you want more explanation, let us prove flux density will be same. Okay, now what is the equation we derived previously? Voltage equal to root 2 pi f b max a c n. Okay, this is the complete equation. Now, is the designer problem or operating engineer problem? Means core are double, linear dimensions of core are double. Means that linear dimension core area of cross section is being changed. Means that it should be designer problem. So, in design problem, complete equation should be taken. Now root 2 is anyway constant, pi is anyway constant. Now let us see frequency here 50H and in the second case also 50H. So frequency is going to be constant. Flux density we have to find. And now if you think of area of cross section of the core, 
linear dimensions are increased uh, double the linear dimensions are increased double in the sense uh, my area of cross section of the course should be increased by four times already just now we discussed so this will be increased by four times now if you think of number of turns number of turns while number of turns are half so number of turns are going to be half now let us think of voltage okay so hv side voltage is 400 volts and in the second transformer they double the voltage to 800 volts so voltage is going to be doubled in the second case so what is happening 4 by 2 2 2 2 will get cancelled flux density is going to be constant at 1.2 tesla